guys it's Tracker man welcome back to another video man so today we're going to be talking about the uh super cup the 2020 super cup man between uh um Bayern munich and uh Sevilla, man both of these two teams have won the super cup before and uh yeah man i believe this is by me second time Bayern munich have won this so shout out to Bayern munich and congrats congratulations to Bayern munich for winning the 2020 uh super cup man great win a very good game in general bro like this could have went either way man both team played very well i don't think both team was clinical enough man because like they have so many chance opportunity and uh yeah man it was it wasn't both team was not clinical enough it was if they were clinical the score line would have been higher uh shout out to noy bro noy came up with some great great save man some great save uh Sevilla had tons of opportunity bro like Sevilla didn't dominate the game they only had six shots in total bro but only about five of those was on target bro there was you could say you could say that it was very clinical in a sense because they had more shots on target and they forced Noy to come out with a lot of save um so great goal by him um on the other hand bro bono the goalkeeper for sevilla i think is quality especially when in the europa league um in the in the semi-finals in the finals he did very very well man so uh in this game bro uh hero let error by him led to the goal that um that the winning goal to um that's if that that by munich score man because i think he should hold on to the ball or push the ball to the side man instead he pushes straight forward after david uh david alaba um it was a header i believe it was a header no it was a shot at goal and he pretty much parried away man and straight into a um javi martinez man and javi martinez does do a powerful header towards goal shout out to javi martinez man scoring the winning goal man pretty much uh um alas uh a goodbye gift you could say to buy munich and their fans man so um scoring the winning goal coming off the bench uh in this might be his last game because coming off the bench in the 99th minute and score within like five minutes after he came on uh, uh so shout out to him for that um but yeah man uh this is pretty much a goodbye give to um by munich bro he's been at the club for a while man with a lot of trophies been a, a crucial play for them um over the years he has been over the past uh, few years though he has been like uh making cameos off the bench man so he's going back to spain to um play in the i, I believe uh in the Basque region which is uh what is atletico bilbo right atletico bilbo he's gonna go back there and play with them man so um yeah man shout out to um Hami martinez man uh definitely gonna be missed at uh by munich been a, a great service for them really man he was a big difference scoring a winning goal um and uh yeah Kariska man scored an opening goal very good goal by him very no not opening goal the equalizer really man after david halibur david halibur i don't know what's up with david halibur man he's staying making like mistakes bro like in in these big games stay giving away for, um penalties man like um in in the game uh the semi was it? yeah the semi-finals versus um barcelona he gave away a penalty but they, they eventually went on win like what eight two i believe in that game so um he's making mistakes from here and there man but uh good win for uh, uh by munich uh sevilla very good game by sevilla man did not did not not dominate game when it comes to shots in total um or possession man by munich was just outclassed when it comes to possession man everybody on by munich had a very good game alaba he was poor alaba you could say the two center backs was poor alaba and so they were, those guys too were poor but everybody else i think did fantastic the goalkeeper the fullbacks in midfield um sane not really a good game by sane bro pretty much was uh non-existent throughout the game um but yeah man a uh, very good game by 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 Munich in general um i was gonna say something else i forgot what i was gonna say but yeah man good win so shout out to them uh stat wise um, so the first goal came in the 13 minute with Lucas uh, Ocampos uh, scoring a winning goal. I mean the opening goal off a penalty after David Alaba. Uh, forgot who he fouled inside the box, man. I don't really think it was a, a, a foul, really. Um, I don't think the play that was going after the ball was in like a. Uh, it was De Young, or I'm not sure who it was, man. But I don't think it was in like a. They had the ball at the time, bro. I don't think they'd be able to score that goal, man. But um, nonetheless, that David Alaba's. Um, follow the play inside the box and it was already right, a penalty soft penalty in my opinion and uh lucas ocampo scored a winning uh scored opening goal and in the 34th minute bro it was a uh, great teamwork man great link up play lewinda robert lundas get the ball inside the box and pass it out on top of the 18 to, towards the uh the, the 18 line 18 mark here 18 line 
and uh, freaking uh, Leo Leon Goriska was running towards goal and just took a powerful shot and uh, scored an equalizer. But um, it was it was the both team went back and forth. It was a few goals that scored. Robert Lodowski scored a goal. He was ruled offside. I believe the Young scored a goal right after um, after Bayern Munich scored an equalizer that was ruled offside too. Man, so both teams scored a goal and hit the post. Um, this guy hit the post a few like late in the game too. Uh, I want to say no. Yeah, I think a play. No, yeah. Um, El, El Nazar came close on a few occasions later on in the game, man, but unfortunately, Noya were able to save him one on one, stop him one on one on a few occasions, and uh, yeah, went back and forth, bro. Very exciting game, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And in the, it was in the in the extra time that Javi Martinez came on and were able to do the editor to, to win the game for Bayern Munich, man. So shout out to Bayern Munich for that win. Um, so yeah, Noya did very good in goal. Hernandez did very well. Hernandez has been having a great turnaround bro like i wouldn't say that last year he was good but ever since um he's been playing very well man um yeah playing fantastic uh yeah alfonso davis hasn't really um started in that left back position in a while but yo he, he, he um hernandez has been playing very well in that left in the in that in that left back position david halaba and uh Saul as a center back did poor they definitely was one of some of the worst players out there today for um for uh Bayern Munich. Uh, Alaba was definitely worst player on the pitch today, in my opinion, man. He was definitely just horrible, terrible. And uh, Pavard on the right side um, did all right, did good. Uh, Kimish and uh, Kariska did very well in midfield, man. They bossed midfield with uh, Kariska scoring the the equalizer, uh, crucial goal for Bayern Munich. And uh, Sani on the left side, poor game by him. Uh, they had him on wraps, bro. They had him on wraps, man. So Navis did a very good job. Navis and Kunde. Did, did a very good job versus Sane. Uh, Thomas Muller, bro, he was slipping and sliding all over the place. Like every time he was taking a shot or uh, passing the ball, it was he was falling to the ground, man. But he had a fantastic game, bro. Definitely was one of your key players. Um, Gnabry did very well on the right side. He come up close on a on a few occasions. At one point, he had like a back heel, man. That could have been a goal, but. Um, got denied. Uh, Lewandowski up top, man. He hasn't really scored, but like he's getting those assists and being uh, a threat throughout the game, and so very good game by him. Uh, Martinez came on. He had a fantastic game because he scored a winning goal. Uh, Boateng came on. Didn't really make an impact on the game when he came on. Um, he came on in the set in the 112 minute, bro. So he couldn't really do anything. Tolisso came on. He had a good game. Alfonso Davis came on in the 99 minute, bro. So extra time. He didn't really have to. Do you didn't really have time to do our uh, impact, uh, make an impact on the game. Um, Bueno in gold, his error led to the um, the winning goal, man. So poor game by him overall. Escudero had a good game. Carlos had a good game. Quinda had a good game. Navas had a good game. And so um, their backline, bro, the backline had a very very good game. And midfield was kind of dry, was flat really, man. With Fernando, uh, Ricketish, Ricketish didn't really do too well. Um, Jordan. Jordan did all right. He was probably the best of the midfield. And uh, Ocampos, man, he had a fantastic game, the penalty. And he was just like, yo, taking on the team, uh, taking on Bayern Munich at times. That's one versus the whole teams at time. And so, mathematic performance by um, Ocampos, man. Unfortunately, his team could have won it, but he had a fantastic game. You should be proud of his performance today. De Young up top, man. Other than that outside goal he scored, it was just poor overall. Alongside Sousa, man. Sousa was just trash, to, to, be, to be specific, man. Torres, uh, Godej, uh, um, and Nazare came on. And, and Nazare, I think he had an all right game when he came on. He was trying to make things happen. Could have scored. Vasquez was poor, man. So the, uh, the plays that came on and stuff didn't really make an impact on the game. Um, total uh, stat-wise, man, uh, Bayern Munich had more possession, man. 64% ball possession. Computer Sevilla, 36% ball possession. Uh, Bayern Munich had... Uh, 25 shots in total, bro. It was just like a, a shooting range for them. Just shoot, 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 man. It, they had so many chance opportunity. Um, the 25 shots in total. Sevilla only had six shots in total, but see, Sevilla had six shots in total. Five of those was on target, bro. So they let they made sure um, no your work, man. So and uh, Bayern Munich had seven shots in total, uh, shots on target, man. So hope you guys enjoy my uh, thoughts on the game. What's your thoughts on the game? What team you support, man? Bayern Munich or Sevilla? Like, subscribe. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.